Hey folks, how are you? Joe and Wolfie here. We're back out in the bush. I really like the spot that I came to a while back, this same exact spot here. And I had it in my mind that I wanted to come out here for an extended time. I have enough gear to build a tarp mansion, so that's what we're gonna do. I could have brought like a, a canvas tent and stuff, but that's no fun. So we're gonna build up a big tarp shelter here, use some, some timber as well. I got a wood stove, I got a bunch of gear. I got food for about like five or six days and I have means to get food out here in the wild. I really like this style. I know it's not for everybody and here's your chance to bail if that's the case. But other than that, we're gonna have a lot of fun. I hope you stick around and, uh, and join us. We drove in on the side by side and then canoed in. I didn't have any portaging, so we just got a ridiculous amount of gear. You know, I've done it. I've done the minimal gear stuff and I like it. I still like it, but I, I've, I've done it. I want to try this type of thing. Uh, this will be probably as heavy as I go. Cleared the area a little bit and marked where we kind of want to set up. It's going to be a big shelter between four trees, three walls, and a half roof or a full roof, all out of tarps. This is a pretty sweet wood stove I got from Doug back in the day. Got an extra tarp in there. Let's count how many tarps. Let's say the word tarp again. One, ground sheet, ground sheet, two, Three, that's not all, that's not all. Where are the other tarps? Tarps. Four, five. Good boy, Wolfie. We'll check this wood stove out after. I've only used it in one video a few years ago. So, we got some decent sized tarps. Most of them are wax canvas. So I do have the cheapest poly st style you can go with, and then more expensive like ripstop nylon, nylon style. Some cordage in there. There's an old Bushcraft USA tarp. All right, let's figure out what we're doing here. I believe this is all in frame. One, two, one wall. Two walls. So three trees, one, two, three, four trees. This will be the third wall. Maybe it won't go all the way. We'll see. And then this in front of me will be open. And then wood stove inside. Pretty comfortable. The whole nine yards. First thing we need to do is get some ridge poles. So one, two, three. Two decently long ones and one relatively short one. I like to get them small in diameter so I don't have to have a lot of weight up there and I like to get them dead. So we're going to hike up into the bush, hike up into the bush and see what we can see. Here's one. I might even be able to get two off of it.
have to find something to stand on to tie up the one side of the ridge poles because uh, I need it higher than I am. But this thing is flimsy, flimsy, flimsy. So we'll see. Figure something out. Maybe I'll fill up my backpack and stand on that. Who knows? That's the second piece. First, second, and I can see the third way yonder. This is coming out all right. I can kind of visualize it now. I have a hard time seeing things before they're there. I don't have a good imagination, but if we put one here, rest that on that, on that, on that, put it up in the front a little bit, that, 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 and cause. This is dead too. That's just a precaution right there. That could come down on you in the middle of the night. And I can cut that up for firewood after. This one will have 90% of the framework ready to get tied up. It's going. It's going. not too bad I'm not gonna stand at the very back anyway maybe I'll put my bed back there there's an insane amount of black flies out freaking October bud I don't think they got the memo You can see we got the three support posts up. I'm gonna have to tie another ridge pole about halfway down and put a couple one or two skinny poles just to hold the tarp up. Alright, got the old green screen up. <laughs> I just uh, tied on every other or a couple of the uh, grommets, just tied it to this pole above and tying it off to itself it seems to be working and then I staked it out at the bottom of the tree there I'm going to try to roll up the bottom right there Take this down after. I'm not concerned about that part right now at all. Throw my grill on there. How about that? Bam. <clears throat> okay, on to the next one. Aww. Aww. That's not too bad. <clears throat> 
There's a little bit of an angle for the roof. Not as much out as I would like, but that's how she goes. And this guy. <laughs> hey, buddy. I really got to figure out what I'm going to do as far as water protection because the, the, the tarp I have, I want to put on the top. It's not long, right? So this wood stove will go through that. That's fine, but I got to overlap it properly. My best bet is probably using this. I still got to go one, two, three. I still need three more tarps. Okay, let's. I gotta think again. I gotta think again. Let's try and get this up and see what the deal is at least. All right, I gave it some thought. It seems like the best way to do this. There is an elbow pipe on the on the uh, stove, so I could really put it out the back and up. So I think the best way to do this instead of trying to put this piece on top and have it come straight up is use it as part of the back and it seems to me it's almost tall enough i can use the tarp on the on the top to overlap as well so just gave it a rough fit up here but i haven't seen if it's going to actually work so we'll put it about there that's about almost even to the ground i get full coverage back here and I'll wrap tight there You don't know knots, tie lots. If you do know knots, sometimes you still just tie lots. There we go. Looking nice and tight. I'm hoping that we can make it fit through here. It's a little flapperoo. Oh, glory hole. <laughs> I think we can. I think we can. We shall see. Hopefully. We have to see if this works right now because if not, we're going to have to switch up the whole configuration. And I don't want to have to do that. So, here we got our. I think it's Swedish <clears throat> stove. Don't get me. Don't be upset if I'm wrong about that. Four pegs. Four legs. That's the double wall that would have to go out that way. Let's hope we can configure that properly. There is an elbow. Oh, there's two elbows. Sweet. That should be able to work then. We'll have to build this up too, actually. Oh, no, I have a fire reflector thing. Oh, cool. Looking for a Y branch to try to support that stovepipe. We got a couple different options there. We already pointed the 
end when we were cutting it off the other piece and ready to stick this into the ground. You'll potentially stick the stove pipe in this crotch or this one. All sorts of crotchies on this stick. On this stick, I said. This is enough. Like that. I hope it doesn't have to go up higher before it bends. We'll see. So that's plenty sturdy there. I'm glad I left both of the notches in there. Okay, well let's see. Let's see how she goes. Can always improve. It is supposed to get chilly within the next couple days, so I just wanted to have this to have a comfortable camp and cook inside and make this thing up and just something different. Something different for me and for you, for all y'alls. Okay, that's not so bad at all actually, no. It's pretty sturdy. Yeah, this is different, man. You control it with these little, it's pretty cool, anyways. This can go away now. Leave the glove out. Oink, oink. Cut this last one a touch short. Oh yeah, just a touch. All right, we've got our supports up and there's black flies just everywhere. Let's try and get the tarp on the top. Oh. All right. We'll leave the tie outs on the underside, that way I can hang things off of them if I so choose. I'm putting the canvas one on top so that it can withstand the heat from the wood stove. I think that's the best bet. But we shall see. Hopefully this fits. Hopefully this fits. Please fit. Oh, it's so close. It's not gonna fit, no. That's okay, we can move this pole in. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, no problem. No problem. Scared myself for a minute there. That's funny, the, the other one fit. Coming along, a little more tweaking to go. I figured out the solution to my short roof and I don't have to cut anything else or move anything really. I'm just gonna hang this tarp up over the top a little bit because it's long enough that it would have just draped on the floor anyway. So this is gonna give me extra coverage and I won't have to go all the way to the end. With this, I could just tie it over and it will be good. Hopefully all the overlap works with the rain in my favor. If not, we will live. We'll be out here and we shall see. 
So let's see how this goes now. So now I've got to get some weights. Well, no, if, yeah, I want it on top because then the rain will run off, right? Yes, that makes sense. Okie dokie. I've used quite a bit of paracord on this, but in the future, if I came back, I would might bring some bungee cords. Seems like they would be handy. Just strap it all down and bungee the crap out of it. Okay, so that's something. This needs to get stretched out farther. Okay. Yeah, man, I think we're we're looking pretty good here. Just a little more tweaking in. I don't know if it's uh, just in time or what, but check this out. Pretty dark cloud up there. It's very calm. Wolfie is gone. Bum, bum, bum. See if this does anything. things if I want to. What do you think? She's done basically. Pretty happy with it. There, I gotta tighten up the one uh, side there but she's basically done. This fire reflector is meant to be used standing up to reflect the heat back at you. Well, I'm not gonna need that. So I'm thinking I'll put it underneath the stove to protect the ground. But just to be safe, I think I'll get rid of a lot of this duff and pine needles and things like that just from around here. I don't want it to scorch from underneath either. You can slide. Holy smokes. Little twig. Got so much problems. <clears throat> Alright, we gotta fix that now.
Oh, I got a spare tarp. I have a tarp to spare. I could put like a half little curtain here if I really wanted to, but I'm more than protective. It's all good. Probably get a uh, gear rack up after, but for now, I think I've done enough work for today. I'm pretty exhausted. I'm going to, uh, it's only 10 after 4. I got a steak for tonight. I'll share that with Wolf. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to just relax now, I think. All right, it's time to eat. It's uh, almost 6 o'clock. I got a fire going out there by the water. Let me give you a little tour real quick all the way around to the shelter. I'm going to cook up some steak. Oh, and I have to show you something I found too, which is very surprising. Here you are. This tarp is 10 by 10 to give you an idea. There's some wrapped around. So for height. All right, I'm good to go there. And then it starts to get a little tight down here, but that's fine. Plenty of room to walk around. We got, this is a nine by 12. So it comes out a little bit farther, wrapped around a little bit more. Top, I believe is a 10 by 10 as well. The back is a weird shape, I don't know. It's short and long. So we have this wrapped around here. Rocks on the bottom. Up together here, there's a little gap here, which who cares? Not a big deal. There's an overhang and the top uh, tarp comes down past. So it's going to shed all the rain there. This has been working well. I let the fire die out there because I didn't need it any longer. It worked well. Uh, that's not burned at all where the, the double wall is. It keeps it nice and cool. I don't need some, some tweaking, but for now it's okay. Uh, yep, yeah, the overhang, little gap here, it's all right. I can even actually, I can take this down to the ground if I wanted or pull this up. That's not an issue. This side's a little interesting. I got a rock holding down this one and then I've got <laughs> just, you know, quick release here. If I wanted to get the, the roof off quickly, at least that part of it for some shade or sun or shelter or non-shelter that's it that's the long and short of it i'm gonna go cook up this steak try and get some maple cut up oh this is yes this is what i want to show you so i do not believe this was here the last time i saw it i was the, i don't believe this was here the last time i was here so three separate pieces of honeycomb or beehive, whatever you want to call it. Unless it was under there. Unless it was under there and a bear dug it up. Even so, we put it on there to eat it or whatever, but that's all done with now. Um, hopefully Mr. Bear. Oh yeah, it was under there. It was a ground hornet nest. Something dug it up and put it on. I would assume it was a bear because what else? would use this um, fallen tree as like a table. I saw that before out when I was on alone, while the fish carcasses were on fallen trees ah, in the bush. And the only biggest things there were bare. Anyway, no worries, just uh, surprised to see that. I'm gonna char this one. I like the fat chartered. It's a nice night. Very nice night to be cooking a steak outside. Could be worse. There's a dog back there somewhere too. <laughs> The ear. Where's Wolfie?
<laughs> I think she's done. Oh, here comes Wolfer. Hey. Smell good? <laughs> I'll give you some, don't worry. You know. You know that. <sighs> Woo! Let that sit for a minute. close to my food. It's perfect. It's uh, it's charred on the outside and cooked to perfection on the inside. Maybe a little underdone in the middle, but I'm okay with that. Mm. Super good. Super, super, super good. Oh, well, we're gonna sit here and enjoy, the, enjoy this. Smack my lips together. Supper was real good, but we ain't roughing it. We got cookies and all caramel and marshmallows to make a bomb-proof s'more. Look at that. Oh boy. That's where it's at. This right here is the one. <sighs> we finna see if this is busting or not. Wait, busting. Buddy. This is really why I wanted it, just to be able to have a fire over here where I'm sleeping, be able to cook on it, have two separate places to chill out. I'm gonna go to bed soon, just chilling out in here though. I like it. I got Wolfie tied up on account of the bear uh, situation with the honey. 
<laughs> the honeycomb. Really happy with this. This is pretty much what I envisioned. Just after seven, I slept pretty good. Um, Wolfie's around somewhere, I just let him off the leash. We're gonna get up and get out and try and get us some food um, as it gets light out here. I stoked the fire about, or I started the fire about maybe an hour ago. I've just been stoking it slowly, nice and warm in here. So uh, Today's gonna be a day of improvements. I gotta improve my bed, improve my situation, fix the stove. Um, I was a little lumpy last night, so we'll get everything squared away today and make it nice and comfy. Look at that pipe. That is not a trickery of camera work. That is glowing. And then, you can see it stops right at that double wall. Big snow on it. And watch the red dissipate. It's good to know, though, that even with it that hot, that double wall thing is working good. It's not burning up material at all. Now watch. Well, I've been hiking around this morning, paddling around as well. I've seen zero birds. Heard lots of pops in the distance. I think moose opened today. Anyway, while I'm out here, I'm going to grab a bunch of maple that I can with my hands. Ah! Ah! No! I never ate breakfast yet, so I'll throw this in the wood stove. Some good maple pieces. We'll cook up some bacon. I hope you're not rolling in that bear poop I just saw. Nope, he wasn't. This is it here. Look at the size of that. What do you think of that? Hey? Eh? That's a big guy. So this is the best spot to look for maples. In a clump here. Seems like this area is bear heavy. Lots of sign at least. All right, well this is enough. We don't have any saws or axes with us. Now the waiting game. What? Come on, let's go. Yep. Good boy, come on. Good boy. Yep. It's okay. Good dog. Alright, let's go back. Make some bacon. Hey? What do you think of that? Yeah, boy. Certainly not as nice out as yesterday. There's a mist in the air. And it's quite windy. As you can see on Mr. Wolfie's fur. Hey bud. You good? Boy.
This blade is a dry wood blade. Gumming up pretty good here. Oops. Trying to make a little splitting, chopping block type thing. Getting there. I need to eat something. All right, that'll do. All that, just to do this. Oh, bam, butcher bacon. Fume dude. Yep. Who may do, blah. Yes, I got my knuckles tattooed. They are in the process of healing. I know some of you are over the tattoos, but this is me, not you. So you shouldn't worry about it. And if you do, then that's on you. If you do, that's on you. That's on you, if you do. Check it out. I got this um, from Lee Valley. Lee Valley is a pretty cool uh, little hardware gardening type store. It's a Coglins brand, which is a crappy brand, but check this out. Well, bam. No, no more burn hands for Joe. Pretty handy. Silicone can stay on, come off. All the uh, wolfy. And I'll show you another use for it after. Get your mind out of the gutter. Can you just stay over there? I'll give you some. Just don't push it, man. Don't push it. I got an egg to throw on here too. Trying to get all the crusties out so it doesn't ruin my egg flipping abilities. The bacon crusties. All right. So I managed, I think, to keep all the eggs intact. Yeah, I'll cook one up with my bacon. I kept the uh, bacon grease there too. Oops. A little bit of crusties there. 
Anyway, let's get this egg cooking. We did it. We flipped it. We flipped it and then the cast iron and it didn't stick. Thank you, bacon grease. Thank you, bacon grease. No toast to dip the yolk in, but we can dip some bacon grease or some, <laughs> some bacon in it. Let's warm this stuff up a bit. Back up. Oh, that's really good bacon. Mmm. Oh, the yolk is almost cooked. Nice. Oh, no. There we go. Nice and juicy. Mmm. Here, I have some yolk. Pretty good, eh, bud? That's a really good meal. Really good breakfast. We'll go back out after and gotta collect some wood. I have to cut some boughs for my bed to even things out. I might move the stove around. There's another hole behind me here. If I did that, this would be more in the corner. I'd have more room. Not that I need it, but we'll see. Like I said, a day of improvements. And hopefully, a fish and or a bird. But if not, no big deal. I'm just happy to be out here. This first year for Wolfie was really important for me. To keep going out with them and to bond with them and let them understand that this is the type of life we have. And I'm sure he's getting it. He's doing so good, as I keep saying. Mm. Nope. I'm sinking. I'm glad I brought this stove. I forgot that it doesn't kick out the heat sideways. There's baffles on the side of it on the back to protect the, the tent or whatever you have it in. It only really kicks heat out the top. And that's fine if you have an enclosed shelter, which we don't. So I'll get heat off the like out the front of it when I have the thing open, or if I stick my hands over top, I get nice warmth. Or I can dry things above it. I can dry my shoes, my sleeping bag, whatever. It just doesn't kick out heat around, which is fine. But I'm glad I remembered that now. I'm glad I found that out now, now this trip, rather than having to depend on it. It works in the tent that it comes with. It's a small, small little uh, canvas tent. There we go. I'm sure I never gave you nothing. I've got a water filter set up, but it's nice to have hot water on the go for uh, teas and what have you. the lid now. Yeah, that'll work. 
Sticks and loops, bro. Sticks and loops. See, yeah, uh, the yard sale in there, but that's alright. Actually, that those gloves are making the tarp droop. We'll move those. Wolfie and I went out for a couple hours, saw two gross, I missed one, didn't get a chance at the other one. Um, anyways, came back and ate lunch. This is cold to the touch, and the fire is completely out, so we're going to take advantage of this to empty it out and uh, potentially move it. So this is where I slept last night. I, uh, I put my little thermos seat, thermosel seat there because there's a big indent. But I want to try to fix that today and make this level. Take these down. There's a couple <clears throat> good sized stumps here. Let's get rid of those right now. Sorry, to about here just to be safe. There we go. Heavy duty knot.
nap time again. These need to be concentrated in the middle here. I can also get more. Certainly not a problem. Abundance of them. Let's see. Oh, much better. Oh. I'll put some on this side here. But, oh man. Ready for a nap. There he is, eh? There he is. Good boy. Got some maple and some oak here. This will be enough for the rest of the night and some of tomorrow for sure. I can even grill up my London broil. I have for supper. On the count of me not catching any birds. No catching birds today, you know? Well, I sure am glad, whoop. I sure am glad I had the uh, hardwood blade on the saw now, because um, that was a lot of sawing and I'm still not done at all. But I have two piles short-ish piles that are gonna go for the most part in here and then longer gnarlier ones or ones I couldn't really get on a good uh, spot are gonna stay out for a fire on the outside of the shelter uh, I'll leave a couple of the smaller ones out here to split down too but yeah actually the maple was harder than the oak the oak has deteriorated a little bit it's still very, very, very good wood. Just uh, the, that maple is like like a rock, like it's very, very dense. Anyways, I still have this, this. Holy crap, that's heavy. Those are the two maple and then one of the oaks left. So I'm done sawing for a bit now. Uh, get some of this for the inside as well. And then, I don't know if I'll make it, I might, I was considering making a fire pit right here. I would have to line it with rocks and everything. Dig it out, line it with big rocks. I could do that. I like it out there, but it gets windy. We shall see. Anyways, I need some water. So it's the bee free. The th same thing I always use. It's just, this is the bladder form of it. So this has the... Sorry, not bladder, the gravity form of it. It has a three liter capacity. It still runs on a similar filter, I believe. I don't think you can plug it into the normal one, but to the small bag, but anyways. We'll go down and get some water. These ones have a little handle, which I may take off after this one's no good, and I'll use it on my other ones, because this is handy. A handy handle. Very clear. Then 
the lid just screws on like normal. Flip her around. Handy dandy leash, the hanger thingy. And then you got your like uh, pinch like other ones have. On, off, flow. Anyway, works good. Well, we brought it. There's no use in not using it. The wind is picking up. This is a 6x8 or a 5x7, one of the two. So this will reach most of the way to the top here. Actually. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out what exactly I want to do. I could make a almost a full wall. Huh. Almost a full wall. Let me get out some cordage and test some ideas out. This guy over here, man. Cocoa. in the bottom here, or a rock, or a log, whatever. Not too bad, actually. Kind of cool. We shall see. Like it's far from perfect. It's got gaps everywhere, but yeah, it's a thing. Well, it's certainly a wind block, if nothing else. And um, I can actually, I just looked on this side, I can improve it a bit. And again, I don't know if I'll leave it there, but I'll leave it there for now. Gives a nice orangey glow in here, too. <laughs> There we go. Kind of a more of a wind block if I do that. Yeah. Or I can make better stakes or whatever. That's coming out easy enough. And then if I want to bring it up, I just throw it on top. That'll block off some of the gap on top and get rid of this for me if I want to have a little review. Happy about that. Cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Look at that. Meant to be. Meant to be, I say. Stay. Nice. Cool, man. Very freaking cool. Multifunctional tarp mansion. All right, well, I do want to make a fire pit here. I'll make it nice, big, safe, and useful for myself. So, I don't care if it's there. I just don't want it to, it's gonna drop here. That's fine. So, let's say here is the cutoff. And we'll make it like, this big. Yeah. 
plenty. All right. I'm going to go get myself a good digging stick and dig this down as far as I can. Eh, maybe I don't need a digging stick. It's pretty getting there pretty good. So three three ish feet there. And uh, I'll only make the the fire pit like three quarters of that big so that there's extra room to uh, spare. On my travels today I found not much. <laughs> no, I found uh, some flattish rocks, but it's a little bit of a walk to get there. It'd be easier to paddle there and then load them up into the canoe. So that's what we're gonna do. I'll come back and hike up the little, I don't know, 30 yards it is to the camp from the water. Not a bad deal. He's just laying there at camp. He definitely heard me get in the boat and everything. <laughs> Pretty comfortable out here he is. Yeah, here's a bunch right here. Some flat-ish ones. Hey bud. <laughs> you left me. <laughs> What's up? Good boy. Hey. I left you. I left you, hey. Good dog. Good dog. Camp. We got six decent sized rocks. All right, we're getting there. I've got to go get other rocks now. Okay, that's what I came up with. Looks very good to me. For size reference, decent size, and then it's got these blocking uh, rocks so that nothing, no embers roll out, and all the, the ground's covered by rocks. So I feel, I feel very good about it, actually. I'm gonna quickly 
Make myself up a little tripod to hang my London broil up high up off the high enough up the off the uh, heat because it's pretty thick and I want to cook it good. It looks and smells delicious. I just had one before in my whole life and uh, I absolutely loved it. So I'm going to try and make it good. I need one more stick. I'll have to lash uh, some side pieces here to put the grill on, I think. But as for now, this will be good. Check this bad boy out. Oh, salt, garlic sausage in the middle and steak on the outside. Right on the Pampers wipes. And this looks prime for cooking. Let's hope I don't regret this, but this is what I've come up with. Oh boy. So good. It smells so good. Don't fall, okay? Now I can obviously adjust this as I need to, but this is how it'll go for now. Big rock and bed of hardwood coals here. And I got french fries to make as well. I've already cut up the potatoes. What do you think? <laughs> oh yes, that is looking fantastic. What? Got french fried potatoes put up. They're sitting in the uh, solidified bacon grease so that's nice so it tastes good and uh, put a tiny bit of seasoning on it all right it's actually raining now so I've got to get all my stuff inside the, the mansion <laughs> Shelter, eh? You know you can come in, eh? I'm going to attempt. I'm going to attempt. I'm going to attempt to flip this thing without disaster happening. Maybe it's not ready. Oh, it's pretty soft. Oh boy. Oh. Wow, that looks good. Oh man, that smells good too. Alrighty. I didn't let it burn down, but it seemed like it's gonna to flip it. I'm gonna put a little bit more hardwood on, split up. <coughs> London bro is off. I might pop it back on after the fries are done. Just warm it a bit. We're ready to put the fries on, but before we do that, we got our bacon grease melted. with our oil I'm going to try to deep fry these suckers as good as possible yeah, I'll put them in and see hopefully Leave it. Mission success. Where is my flipper at? I got my fries kicking. Put a little seasoning salt on them pieces, you know. All right, tell me that doesn't look good. Anybody ever watch uh, scrolling through stupid TikTok or YouTube Shorts or whatever? This guy named Old Time Hockey H A W K E Y. He always like 
he lives in a cabin in Mich Michigan, I believe. He's always like uh, cooking things. He's just such a chill dude. Oh, hello, buddy. How about an ice cold pop? He's always got a Verner's. Okay, I'm happy with that. Happy with that. The sausage is cooked. The steak is not fully cooked. A little pink, little tiny bit. So we're good. We're happy with that. Oh, hello, buddy. And he always plays like a vintage, um, like Sega or Nintendo, like hockey game or whatever, it, whatever it is, Duck Hunt, anything. It's, uh, he's got a little, two Australian Shepherds, I think. Anyways, probably the most wholesome, calming thing you could watch on there. Okay, it's toasty. Toasty! This is nice, man. I'm glad I built the fire pit here. Super windy out there, at least most of the time. This is much chill, much more chill. What a nice cold pop, buddy. Oh boy, that's good. Cheers. <laughs> Yep. Garlic sausage. I believe it's flank steak. Will you back up, please? There's things here that are not for you. Nope. Back up. I'll give you some. Don't worry. Very tender. Juicy. Sausagey. Smoky. Just delicious. Take it nice, okay? Alright, well, folks, this is the part where I eat. This is very, very, very good. I would highly recommend. It's not a Wellington, it's not a Beef Wellington, or whatever that is. This is a London broil. I was confused at first. Not hard to confuse me. <laughs> Old Senile Joe. The fries dipped in the sauce are uh, on point. It's a little steak saucy here. Steak sausage combo sauce. All right, goodbye. Meeting. Well, it's eight o'clock. I'm gonna lay down and read a book on my phone and <clears throat> relax. I got a boat. Ten hours of sleep last night, I think. Maybe eight. Anyways. Good night's sleep. I'd like to get another one and get up early again. Hopefully get something tomorrow. I don't know how much longer I'll stay. If I don't... Like, I saw two birds today. That was the closest I came. Two grows. And if I don't... I guess I'll leave these on until I grab the camera. If I don't see too much more tomorrow, maybe I'll stay one more night and head out. But I'm not too sure. We have, uh, I have other options of places to go with Wolfie. Just have to leave this spot. Pretty good light from just that fire. I have no artificial light on right now at all. Except for my charger over there. <laughs> but that's a reflection there. I like it, man. I'm very comfortable in here. <laughs>